was quite enjoyable this evening, wasn't it? Well, it was. It was. It was a. The result was never in question and never in doubt. But the the numbers were very very good. I think you know, ten nil was always one of those. England should really be battering San Marino, and we did. But you know, you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. You got you've got to to put ten past them. It almost feels like that's the only way you can get any credit. Really, you would have thought. Yeah, but um, there was a, um, a ruthlessness, which was mm-hmm. good. The attitude was excellent. Normally, if you're six up at half time, then you can tend to ease off a little bit. So mm-hmm. I think it shows the competitiveness, which is in the squad, you know, with the younger very, players come in. Very. Give you a bit of a lift. I think Conor Gallagher getting, coming on his, his debut, yeah, Emerson yeah. Froh scoring his Fro, goal. Yes, absolutely. And I think you talked about Gareth Southgate. I was one of, the, one of the ones who actually said, I'll judge him after the Euros. And I thought it was a... A prerequisite that because it was most of the games were at home, then semi finals was like the base what you should be and got through to the final. I think he could have. The only doubt I have is in the massive games, is he going to make decisions mm-hmm. early enough? He, yeah, he didn't make his there first substitution. There is that, there is that, there, right. is def- there is definitely still that question mark. Yes, is, is he going to be take that little cautious air that he's mm-hmm. he did have in that mm-hmm. in that final. But if you said that, like the year that England have had, the 19 games... It's one of the great... It's one of the best years that we've had, certainly in my lifetime. Yep, 14 clean sheets, right? But this all goes back, and I'm going to drop a massive name here. Oh, okay. in, like, well, Sir was he on Brookin. the tour? Was he on the tour? Sir, yeah. No, Sir Trevor Brookin was at Harlow, at the okay. Bayo Centre. Okay. okay, okay. And he was saying about the the vision that he was involved with the FA, David Sheepshanks as well, the old Ipswich. Right. Um, you right. you probably yes, know. I do know. Well, exactly. Yep. And when it was... England used to play at Lillyshaw, didn't they? That's where he used to train. Just That's go right. and train. For, then it was St George's Park. Um, they obviously acquired the land. It was all designed in uh, 2008. They completed the whole project by 2012. And they said, and Trevor Brookin, Sir Trevor, sorry, was saying that they had a 10-year plan and a 10-year project. They wanted all England's teams plan at That's the right. same venue, which That's is 2014. Right. They wanted all the coaches in the same, so there was a continuity to develop the young players and a pathway. There was a vision. That's and the a, vision was, they had. Yes, yes. To, to come through. Yes. And he said it was a ten-year plan. The, um, then, if you look, England won the Under Seventeens World Cup in 2017, uh, beating Spain five-two. From that little that team and that squad, Conor Gallagher, Emil Smith Rowe, Phil Foden, Callum Hudson Odoi, who's obviously form drops a little bit, and at the moment he's saying he's only playing the Under Twenty Ones, which mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't think he's been advised mm-hmm. very well because. You're the Strange. next cab on the rank Strange. because yep. if there's yep. injury, you're the next one in. Jaden Sancho, obviously, his form ain't great. And Mark uh, Gahey, who's playing very well up centre-half That's for right. Palace. Palace at That's the right. moment. So they wanted to create this pathway and this vision. And 10 years where it was... Uh, the idea was put out there that we could win the World Cup. The 10 years will be... Wasn't there, wasn't there something on a plaque, on, something on a wall at St George's Park ab- ab- about that vision? Yeah, but wasn't uh, there? Yeah, Trevor Brooker was saying the 10-year plan was to get all these young players through, mm, have a mm, continuity in the coaching, mm, develop mm. them. So the 10 years is... Next year. Next year. When they woke up. World Cup. Yep. In Qatar. I, 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 without getting too... I know it's San Marino, without getting too carried away, we have to be one of... The prerequisite, again, for that World Cup has got to be semi-finals. But, do you know, we, we are one of those We've got sides. got to be the favourites. We are one of those sides of that, a lot, that most people would like to avoid because we are a side that have an incredible talented bunch. You're still coming through. This this squad you know has not even... Nowhere near mature is, is, to right. where it wants to be right now. But he's, he's made um, mm-hmm. people like England again. Yes. And feel good about England yes. again. And I've always yes. said that teams mirror managers and, you know, Gareth Southgate... I know him, I've been in his company. He's a, obviously a very intelligent man. He's a very humble man. Um, he's put that into his squad. There's no big, there's big name players, but there's no, but big, there's no big time Charlie. No, I agree with that. And he won't, they all buy into the same club ethic that he wanted. So I just think if there's any doubters still out there. Oh, there are doubters out there, Pez. Well, they're, they're, they're allowed to come on tonight well, and go, they are. Of my name's so and so, and I got him wrong. Well, look, this is uh, an open forum, 03717 Come on and let us know if you still have doubts. What a brilliant year it's been for Gareth Southgate in England. As I read the stats there, 19 games, 15 win- wins, four draws. Okay, they're one of those draws, of course, is that, uh, that final, of course, against Italy, we lost on penalties, so you can perhaps have <laughs> a slight asterisk by it. But in 90 minutes, no defeats. And no defeats in 90 minutes. 14 clean sheets. And also Harry Kane is uh, another four steps closer to, to breaking the all-time English goal-scoring record of which is currently held by Wayne Rooney in nearly half the caps. It's an astonishing uh, record by Harry Kane. He's, he scored um, 
seven goals in the last two games. 48 in 67. I mean, those numbers are utterly astounding. And he was going to get there. He's going to get there. And he'll another centre forward playing for another country. Yeah, you'd say you'll so. be waxing, I've you'll be lording. I'm all telling over you him, now, he's one of the very, very best. Not just this country, right? But this, in, in, not just in the Premier League, but in the world mm-hmm. right now. And if they can get a tune out Harry Kane and he stays fit, why can't England go all the way to the World Cup final? And why not bring it back? Oh three seven one seven double two double three double four. Love different Scotland fans as well. As I said there, Stevie Clark, it's a good win that, home to Denmark. That's a tough game, that. I wasn't expecting a, a clean sheet. I wasn't expecting Scotland to run away with the way they did. And also Northern Ireland, you know, they, they, they finished third in the group. They fumbled Italy, the European champions at home, really frustrate them. And now Italy, the European champions, have got to drop into the playoffs. So well hey, done, Northern said Ireland. That? Italy no, and no, Portugal. Well, can you imagine if Gareth Southgate had that record now? England, oh, no, England. the papers have been calling for it. Can you imagine what these lines would be like now? Oh, no, it would be Southgate out, wouldn't it? 